there. Now basically I can just do a bunch of this. Now I'm gonna go over these tracks. I mean it forms this hill. Now Yeah, so pretty nice. Alright, without further ado, I think I'll head into me trying to figure out how to do this type of video. It's one of the mechanic challenges. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this type of tank and like how the... It's not a tutorial per se, but it's me trying to figure it out. And it's uh, basically a video about me just struggling to death and trying to figure it out. Giving you updates as the way. So it's basically a mechanic challenge. This is like one of the newer things we kind of did. My 10 on one was kind of like, kind of like it, or not exactly. This will be like one of the first mechanic, official mechanic challenges for me. Alright, without further ado, I think I'll head off into basically kind of useless. So let me change the transparency. Basically, I have all these wheels here. And I basically compact them together like this. Then I uh, put this other switch, then that basically uh, pushes the tracks towards it. Then I take off all the blue, I mean all the blue blocks and stuff, get rid of that. Now all the tracks are loose and stuff. So, fun thing when I try to figure out how to build this thing. Uh, you see the... So this is like a downgraded version of the super detailed other one. That's because it is impossible, I mean impossible, to make tracks like this work as well as they do with this type of stuff. Like they won't even... Here, I'll just show you. So now once I, I have to click that lever again, when they stretch out, the wheels would always like glitch out outside of the track itself. Then... It was all because I had too much parts and stuff before, and it took me a while to figure out why that was happening. But until then, I realized it was just I had too much stuff, which kind of sucked, but at least now I know. And finally, well, no, then we have this, which basically compacts it even more together, which is another piston. I didn't even think I was going to need this extra piston. I just had it just for, just for, like, Messing around with mechanics, I didn't think I was gonna need it at all, but I'm like, huh, I need to have this mechanic. Like, oh, wait, good thing I already have this in here. But now, oh, yeah, so here's the side stuff. So you see how the, oh, it fixed itself. Well, I was gonna kind of nudge it in with this chair. And now, uh, the final switch basically packs everything together. I'm still figuring, I still have to, it's a bit buggy with the last one. So I don't really use it that much. It's because they start like freaking out and just break everything. Alright, then I have to break the thing in the back. Get these out of the way. And boom. Working tracks. WASD working tracks. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. And I, I can even go over like walls and stuff like this. See, I'm already, like, off of it. It's a little hard to squeeze in between, but it's whatever. Hi, guys. It's me, Harlux, here. I'm here to show you, uh, basically, this is one of me, probably the greatest build challenge I've ever done. So, the build challenge is to make movable tracks to go around this. It's like World War One tank. And I have no clue how to do this, guys. <laughs> but that's the build challenge. Or mechanic challenge. Yeah. Anyway. This is probably... I've never seen anyone else do, like... Part of the reasons I wanted to do this tank, too, was... Because to, i never seen anyone... I wanted to make working tracks for this type of stuff. I've never seen anyone go, go make, like, weird tracks like this. But anyway. I'm gonna try to figure out how to build this. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy Alright, so now, what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to make the hinges and all this crap over here. So now I'm going to have to, my goal is to just 
push everything away right here and just push it over here and have a piston push it all in basically doing my uh i'm building yeah so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm just gonna be doing like the same thing i did with my door mechanic video sort of what's as if Oh, I want to be... I'm moving everything. All right, guys, now I got this part done. I got this part, so now I'll have enough room to do hinges and all the stuff for the tracks. And now, basically, I just have these two pistons push it here, which is exactly where uh, this thing, well, exactly where it was before. But well, I'm using pistons to push it there. And now I have enough room. And now I'm going to do this to the other side as well. All right, and I decided to use two pistons because uh, I guess there was just, just I'm being prepared for anything. All right, now to do it to the other side. All right, I just finished up the other side to what I believe will work. And now if I uh, anchor everything, and if I click both these pistons, they should overlap each other, or there should be Z fighting, or at least they're very close. Okay, that's not what we wanted, but if I bring back the piston to 8, I think it should work. Yep, that's what I want. Alright, so now I can bring it back to 8. Now, the gap right right there. Now I can actually, uh, once I scale it back, I can just extend it and save it. And I'll get rid of it. So now, I guess what I'll be working on is uh, adding wheels to uh, spots like this, so that it actually turns turns and stuff. So I guess uh, I'll be back to you guys when I complete the adding uh, wheels and stuff, so that like that actual tracks and balance on something, you know. All right, so uh, we'll be back. All right, so now guys, I want to try be adding the the wheels and stuff. So the wheels are, so I want this to be a uh, wheel to stick out a bit because I'm gonna have the wheels invisible and I want the tracks to actually go over the wheels. So basically, oh, visually, it look like it'll be going around.
right now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them all out and stuff. So I'll be back with you guys when I do that. Hopefully, everything will be spinning, spinning and stuff. Alright, so the plan is for all of this. So I'm going to have tracks that go up here. And they're basically going to surround this. Now, they're going to be loose. They're not going to be tight or anything. So I'm going to have these right here. I'm going to make sure that these are aligned up with the right spots. And now that they are, I'm basically going to have a piston push them out here, which would push all the tracks that are all loose and just tighten everything together. Uh, if that doesn't make sense, I'll show you now in the future. But now at this point, I guess we're just connecting all the stuff. So guys, I'm going to show you what I did do. As you can see, I made tracks and stuff. I actually added another wheel up here. And I connected all the wheels to this chair down here for show. And uh, so basically, I have the, I push the pistons. No, well, basically, I retract all the wheels in. Kind of put them together. Then I push this in. Then I anchor everything. And, I mean, not an anchor, but get rid of all the glue and stuff. Then I basically see them push these back to stretch the track basically and here I'll just show you in action right now first thing we're going to do we're going to track everything then what we're going to do now is push everything forward there that looks good drop everything Now basically I'm going to push it all out. There. Now that looks pretty good in my book. <laughs> now basically, 
So, you saw that before where it like stretches up a bunch. Like that. Once you go around a few times, it stops doing that. Like... It's a little noticeable, but at the end, <laughs> I got working track, so I'm, I'm not going to try to fix it. I don't want to mess it up. So basically now, I'm basically going to have to build all this on this side now. Without further ado, I think I'm going <laughs> to do that right now. So stay tuned for the next part.